Paldea Evolved is the best Scarlet and Violet set and it's not even close. Welcome back to the channel guys, this is VMAT. If you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing and joining all the fun we have here and all the discussions we have on the channel. And today we're going to be discussing Paldea Evolve, which is the best in my opinion, and not even just my opinion, based on the market data set from Scarlet and Violet. The singles are hot, the sealed product is hot, the artwork is amazing, and it's being reflected on TCG Player based on the market prices. So why don't we take a look at the most expensive Scarlet and Violet Paldea Evolved single, starting off with Meow Scarada EX 256 out of 193. And as you can see, during the past three months, it did bottom out between March 18th and March 20th, but it's basically on a rise ever since, currently sitting at $13.54. Now the next card here is Skeledurge EX. This is 258 out of 193. It's a very large set. Now it's also been on the rise for the past three months. Almost all of the cards that I'm going to show you guys have been really hot over the past three months. It was actually at about $11.17 at March 3rd to March 5th. Now it's currently sitting at $13.75. Next up we have Tinkaton EX. Another beautiful card with amazing artwork, number 262 out of 193, and it is currently sitting at $15.59. It bottomed out during the last three months at about March 24th to March 26th. Next single here is Boss's Orders, 265 at 193, currently sitting at $16.35. Its highest price in the past three months is about $17.26, so it has went down a little bit, but it looks like if you look at the movement over the past three months, it's had a very similar uh, positions down, but then it, it continues to go up after, although its lowest point was $13.29, and that was from March 21st to March 23rd. Next card here is I, oh no, this is not the alternate art. This is not the big SAR. This is just the regular version of this card, just the regular full art. Currently sitting at about $18.82. Now the reason why this card is a lot lower based on the price that it should have been. If it didn't have that reprint is because of the reprint, the Iono box reprint, the milk carton. Uh, that really did push the price down. If you needed that card as a competitive card in your standard Pokemon deck, then you can just buy that. You get the card, you get the single. It's like the same artwork too. So really that's one of the things that's really pushing this card's price down. Over the past three months though, it's high is point was about $29.88. And I say that uh, hesitantly because I think it was actually higher uh, even before that. The next card we have is Chiyu EX 259 out of 193. Beautiful artwork. I love the sun just going into the water and just basically illuminating this card in the center. It, it almost has like a fire look to it. It's very, very beautiful artwork. In fact, Palde Evolved, I don't know, like I'm, it's similar to Evolving Skies in terms of how amazing the artwork is. I really do believe that a lot of the illustration rares are gonna be some of the most sought after once this whole block is done, once we're moving on to the next block after Scarlet and Violet, this is just absolutely incredible. Currently sitting at $18.32 for its hollow foil market price. Now, oops, I just highlighted everything. It bottomed out at about March 15th to March 17th at about $14.75. The next card here is Super Rod, 276 out of 193. I believe this is the only gold card we have on today's list. It is currently sitting at $23.74 for its market price, and it did bottom out around March 12th to March 14th at $20.36. Now, I personally am not a fan of gold cards that much. If you guys love gold cards, let me know in the comment section. I, I just feel like with gold cards and even rainbow cards, especially the rainbow cards from the from the uh, Sword and Shield era, I wasn't a super big fan of them, but I did like them a little more in Sun and Moon. The the foiling and the rainbow effect was a little more subtle. But in general, these cards, the gold cards, they just look too, they all look the same. They all look very generic. That's why I love the illustration rares so much and the alt arts, because it takes like a regular card and gives it something spectacular, something that you wanna like hold on to and take a look at and just kind of get lost in the artwork. It's not just like one Pokemon that's just kind of taking up the entire frame. It looks amazing. To me, it's like a work of art. If I, I, I wanna frame some of these alt arts and put them on the wall as like a, as an actual framed image. I don't know, I just love them so much. Just compared to the gold cards, for me personally, sorry about the rant, I just think that it's not even comparable. But hey, if you guys love gold cards more than illustration rares, let me know down below in the comment section. Next up, we have Chin Pao EX 261 out of 193, currently sitting at $27.92. It did bottom out 
at March 30th to April 1st at about 2107, but it's basically been on tear uh, over the past three months. It's really just been going up. That's the only position it's going is just, it just keeps going up. And now we have Raichu, 211 at 193. I love this card as well. And obviously a very popular Pokemon. So definitely something you might want to hold on to in the future. It is currently sitting at $41.79 for its market price. It did bottom out at around March 12th to March 14th at $19.96. So if you would have bought it, then you would have more than doubled your money on this card. Great artwork, great card as well. Next up is Tyranitar, 222 out of 193, perhaps the card that has spiked the most out of any of the singles in Paladay Evolved, currently sitting at $42.88, and it's been on the rise, especially over the last month, but it's a bottomed out price was around $17.09, Similar, March 12th to March 14th, but incredible card, a card that I have to take out of my binder now and actually get into a hard case because if it continues to grow up, um, it could really, really see new highs uh, even in the next month or so. And what I really love about this card is that low down shot, that, that nice angle. I get Godzilla vibes from this card. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Um, now, he's... He is a big Pokemon, but it really looks like a gigantic, like behemoth, like like a city destroying behemoth in this image. And I just love the artwork here. Incredible card, incredible artwork. Next up is the most expensive single from Palde Evolved. Actually, no, second most, sorry. There's another one after this. I almost got ahead of myself here. You're gonna see it in a second. But this at one point was the most expensive single in Palde Evolved. It's Iono, the art rare 269 out of 193. Now, it's not at its all-time highs. It's actually a single that has had a lot of its price movement go down. Actually, I will look at the one-year chart here. You guys can see it used to be like $130, this card. So this one's lost a lot of its value. It used to be the most expensive card in the set. I still love the card. still has great artwork. I love all the Pokemon. I love all the the imagery in here, the, I guess she's in a, like a dessert cafe. I like that. You got Eevee as well there, kind of hidden right in front of the text. Now. It's just an incredible card. Unfortunately, there is like so many variations of Iono. So if you wanted this card specifically for like a competitive deck, there's just cheaper alternatives. And I think that's actually one of the reasons why this card's price hasn't really won up too much over the past three months. Now, the most expensive card is Magikarp. 203 out of 193, currently sitting at $107.73. Though it hasn't really moved much in price since April 11th. It was sitting around the same price at $107. Now, when it really started to take off was at the beginning of March. It just started to really take off from then. It was a bit, actually, it was a bit flat, but then at the end of March is where it really started to see new highs. But still, that's crazy, $107.73. And I have a bonus for you guys today. It is the booster box to show you guys that even the booster box has been going up. This is the most expensive booster box from Scarlet and Violet currently on TCG Player, sitting at $128.65. Okay, guys, let me know what you think about the singles from Palde Evolved down below in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And with that being said, I'll see you tomorrow.